Hey guys, QWERTY back with another review, and uh, as you can see, I've kind of a changed location. Uh, this review is probably going to be the last one for today. We are reviewing Transformers Armada, Optimus Prime, the last of the Armada toys that I have. Uh, technically, uh, technically, these were classic line. You know, the Clear Skies Minicons and this guy. Technically, these were classic, but they were Minicons, so I decided to put them under. So I decided to put them at the same time. Well, yeah, not. Don't care. Anyway, uh, as always, we're going to start with the Minicon first. So, Minicon here is Overrun. Weird name for. Yeah, I know it's a weird name for an Autobot alive Minicon, but, you know, meh. We've got little landing gear here, and disposable uh, wings. Although mine, again, I've had this for a while, mine are very, very loose. Um, so yeah, transform him into... Robot mode. And there he is. Here, let me, let me show you the mini count symbol that you can barely make out. Alright. Uh, he's mostly this really pretty good looking silvery gray with some blue, uh, black. That's it, basically. Oh, and a yellow uni eye. There, I don't think you can see that. Dang, fire. And look at that. Look at that chest. Made out of the nose of a plane. But that young. I, I don't know who designed it, but dang, fire. Anyway. Articulation. No neck, no waist. This is the extent of his legs, no knees, no forward or back movement on the legs. Standard Minicon fair. Uh, let's see. His arms are on a joint that will allow them to go 360 if they weren't hindered by this. So, this, no forward back, no waist, no neck, no, no barely any shoulder. Really, don't, don't try to tickle you to death. Oh yeah. Turn back to the plane. You did not just see half of my face. Anyway, I'm staying plane mode. For, well, you know what? While we're here, I'm gonna turn him into gun mode. If I had any effects, this would be going GUN MOVE right now, and it'd be a flash to this. But, you know, I don't have that, so, what can you do? Anyway, this is GUN MODE, you can see the gun thing there. And now, it actually has a gimmick in this mode, for while Optimus is in vehicle mode. There's a hole right there. Plug that on and Optimus now has a turret on the back of his thing for some reason. I'm not sure why. Eh. Really can and he's also got a trailer hitch. A big trailer. A storage port that works the exact same way in robot mode. So now that we've covered most of the gimmicks. Let's look at him. He's the standard, standard fare for an Optimus, you know. Red, blue, um, a little yellow, some silver on him here and there, just to give out some details. Black wheels, silver windows, and you're done. Although the back window isn't painted. Even though that's not painted, just the 
Um, okay. Now what? Yeah, we'll have like... Let's transform it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's leave that first. I'm an idiot. Now, behold the something of Armada Optimus Prime Deluxe version. The Deluxe class version. Yeah, this got remolded in Cyber- or technically repainted in Cybertron. Here's his main minigun gimmick. The gimmick port right here. The plug right there. Take that in. And watch out! Optimus is gonna punch you in the face. Yeah. That's the gimmick of. He does come with two smokestacks, by the way. Um, like, mint, he, you know, packaged complete. He has two smokestacks. I lost one of mine. Yeah. Why he doesn't look quite right. These are removable, by the way. So, be careful of how you use them. Like, be, just be careful with the smokestack. He's got light on a robot mode. Apparently, this version of Optimus really, really loves light. That or he's just really afraid of the dark. Anyway, there's his face. Yep, that's his face. Very nice Optimus looking face. You know, I never really liked the Optimus with the uh, uh, mouth. That just does not scream Optimus. And I forgot to tell you if he rolled well or not. I swear I'm losing my mind tonight. I mean, you can see it's a really quick transformation. Let's see if he rolled well. Big enough. Actually, it looks like four wheels actually spin. This wheel, this wheel, and the front two actually spin. These two here are pretty much stationary. Identity protection people is a must on the internet. Unless you're in I will be one soon. Anyway. Yeah. That's basically it. What do you want, Kitty? Alright, Rosie, don't give me that. I swear that cat. It's so weird. Hey, don't meow at me when I call you weird. You are weird. You're nosy. Yes, you are. Well, anyway, here's... Can you please shut up for a second? I'm trying to talk. Whatever. Anyway, here's Optimus holding the gun, and here's the gun falling apart. Yeah, see what I said about those loose wings? Anyway. Oh, I... This does actually have unintentional auto more. Look at this. Look. Pull the nose down, and it starts to move the arms out of the way. You kind of, kind of move them yourself, but start, start. You work it. Starts. Almost an auto war. Almost. So yeah, that's basically it. Although one cool piece of detail I really like. See that? Maybe I should give you a visual. Anyway, uh, 
So yeah, that's basically Armada Optimus with Overrun in a nutshell. With a Matrix port. Or, or not Matrix port, Matrix 5. Doesn't hold a Matrix. I won't really know I don't have one, but it looks like it can. Uh, somebody tell me, in, tell me in the comments if Deluxe Armada Optimus Prime can hold a Matrix inside his chest or not. That'd be really cool if we could. So anyway, that's all for this review. That was Armada Optimus with Minicon Overrun. I'm Cordy Order 66 You are whoever you are. And stay tuned next time because we are going to be covering the only Energon toy I have. Left. You'll see what I mean. Later.